Yo, my homie homies, let's go! Alright, listen, today I am gonna talk about one of the worst mistakes I made on VV, which led me to lose. An opportunity cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I hope that none of you guys in the future make the same mistake that I did. Yeah, let's dive right in. Oh, so, for those of you who don't know, I got into this app in March of last year. And honestly, I wish I stayed on the app. Around the time of March is after I spent a lot of time looking around and investing. You guys, I wasn't even 18 at the time. I was doing a lot of research on all these different things that I could plant my money into because it's all I wanted to do. I mean, working was fun, but and dandy and all, but I wanted to make real money, and I and I knew that investing was the way to do it. And that's when I started uh, learning about cryptocurrency. Um, it was after I was learning about a bunch of other things, but this isn't really about like how I got here I want to make a whole different video on that. What this is about is due diligence. Okay at the time when I first got into VV I Thought that I was too early. I put in my $300 market did practically nothing for months um, you couldn't buy anything on the drops drops were like every other week and it, it was just so boring being on the app i mean i'm no shots of vivi obviously they've they, it's become a lot more exciting in the last couple of months since i've returned but in the first couple of months there was nothing there was literally nothing and earth to mastery was the first youtuber i ever watched and he posted a video talking about the darwin cook batman because there were a th two two or three thousand of those just sitting on the market for about us uh, sitting on the store we didn't even have a marketplace at the time they were sitting on the store for they were sitting on there for the store for like weeks and there were like 80 gems but no one wanted the darwin cook batman so i i was one of those things i picked up because i decided hey he makes a good point nine thousand people nine thousand additions isn't a lot but in when we have a million people on the app it's going to be very very little <laughs> oh my god i did not see that coming it's like okay so the mistake i made was letting it go and not keeping an eye on it after the marvel and disney announcement i didn't realize that we would we were going to have millions of users flooding the app like we like we do today i unfortunately did not see if i had put the same money that i put into all the projects i was investing in otherwise and put it into vivi i would be sitting on over a hundred thousand dollars like hands down there's just no way that it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that high um especially if i was paying attention to the market buying the dips and just doing what i would do for any project the other projects i bought into have just been dipping like one way <laughs> and that's down cocktail bar i'm still really excited about you know it's been crashing and, but it'll come back and i think the same for dogecoin but i really thought that both of those would see their returns way sooner and if it were is it if it wasn't for that if it wasn't for my impatience if it wasn't for all that i would i'd be sitting on a bigger bag because as patience is key and it's really it's it really is i saw the vision for vv2 i knew that we were gonna get a lot in 2021 i was like Okay, Marvel. I mean, I knew these things were coming. I knew Pokemon's coming. I, like, I knew Pokemon was coming at the time because Alf Khan's been on this forever. And I still just like, it, it, er, big mistake, guys. That's only part of it. The other mistake is the collectibles that I chose to hold on to. Now, because there was no marketplace at the time, the only thing that I, I could get was the stuff in the store. I was definitely not going to go to eBay to try and buy and sell different items, you know, especially being 17. Yeah, you know, I was just like, I literally couldn't if I wanted to. So what I ended up doing was just buying like a bunch of chupacabras and a bunch of these crypto kins and whatever the drops were coming, whatever they were, I was buying them because there was nothing and I only had 300 gems. I couldn't even buy a Todd McFarland at the time unless I wanted to go and try and avoid getting scammed and you know I I didn't want to take that risk that was a big mistake I should have bought as many Todd McFarlands as I could have got my hands on and that that would have been a lot and I'd be sitting on so much right now but that wasn't the real mistake guys the real mistake is choosing to not pay attention to the drops I should have kept my eye on every drop I should have joined the secondary market as soon as it dropped. I should have come back to the app immediately when that happened and started buying up a lot of these other collectibles. Why did I ignore Spider-Man? Well, there was a point where I came back just briefly to look at the app. I said, oh, look, things are moving. I can finally list my stuff on the on the app. I sold off a bunch of the garbage. I had like a like three or four sub 100, uh, sub 500 even of the uh, cryptokins and I, I just sold them. I said, this is so dumb, got rid of them. 
and I got into um, Spider-Man. I got I bought a common I bought an uncommon Spider-Man. If I still held on to them, he would be worth nine hundred dollars. But but on the flip side, I sold him. I, I remember purchasing him for about eighty-two gems. I sold him for three hundred. I was like, that is a very good flip. And then uh, Mickey Mouse got announced. Um, so we saw the the golden days of VVI. I was able to purchase a lot of those. Um, I was able to get in on a lot of those drops, which I was very fortunate uh, for. And I started flipping stuff and I made quite a few gems back and yes, I did profit. And so I think that's the important thing that I'm trying to mention is I profited a lot. If I was around when Disney Golden Moments was here, I would be sitting on such a pretty bag even, even not even the golden moments. If I just like open my eyes a little bit more, it's obvious that I know what a good mint looks like because I own two Disney, I own two of the Mickeys and those have performed very well. And the same goes for the Coca-Cola's, uh, Coca-Cola snow globes. But I should have bought another one. I should have bought a third Mickey and I almost did, but I decided I wanted a lab instead. Guys, what I'm trying to tell you is everyone watching this video needs to take a good look at their vault and ask themselves which one of these is going to appreciate more which one of these is more popular okay because that's really the big question which one of these is more popular the labbits sure they have a lot of room to grow their market cap is like what twenty thousand dollars a piece like compared to the millions for uh the rest of the tokens but what people don't understand is that, and what i failed to understand was it doesn't it doesn't really matter uh, the scarcity so much as much as it does the popularity because the people that determine the price are How people talk about it Alexander Lorenzo has mentioned this a lot And so is Alex Becker is like the real movers don't move because of the fundamentals they move because of Because um, of hype because of how people talk about them And that's why Vivi's moving and that's why these big golden moment collectibles are moving That's why so much is moving because of the hype and there's a lot of hype going on right now. So my advice to you is take a good hard look at your vault pay attention ask yourself what is th which of this is garbage and which of this is grails which of these are actually going to retain their value and stand the test of time i made a mistake i made a hella mistake and that's why this drop on sunday is so important if you guys trying your best to get these crocs even in the secondary market because they're one of the these are one of the last these are some of the last first editions that are coming out now it's probably gonna be another two years of just first editions and first editions especially with pokemon and everything else coming out but there's still so much to collect guys don't get discouraged and I'm I'm really feeling like beat up I'm like oh my god I'm not gonna make anything the truth is if I stay on top of the next thing that comes out I buy the dip after the drop try and get every single drop you know I could come out I could come out I could still make 100k by the end of 2023 am I gonna make 100k it's very unlikely but if I play smart and I think smart and I sell and I take profits and I move with diligently with the plan that I've created for myself then 100k it's not out of the range of possibility. Um, I'm frankly probably gonna withdraw a lot of that before I ever reach 100K because of the f because of the things that are happening in my life, because of how much I could change for myself and those around me. But it's it's a goal, and I want to make I want to do a lot for Vivi. And, I, and like at the end of the day, you know we are here to make money. I do love the app, but I'm excited to take this journey off with all you guys. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Stay in Vivi, even if you have to look away from the app. Don't look entirely away. If you can't participate in drops, whatever, just stay on the information, stay on the news because something timely could be pressing and and everything. So, my homie homies, my VV, my VV pals, everyone with the bell on, all right, with the notification squad, my naughty boys, okay? This one's for you. Like and subscribe. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day.